videos, music, podcasts, road trips, DIY projects, and more. You're hanging out with Ren and Mark, and this is Rapid, Rapid Fire, Fire with Robert Roost. All right, I'm going to show you guys our little DIY power system I rigged up into our van. Um, it powers all sorts of trivial things, but also really handy for all sorts of other awesome things. But um, all this was scrapped from our bus, fortunately, that was wrecked. But So this switch right here is on the positive side, and it runs underneath down underneath the dash. And you can get through the firewall all, all sorts of ways, but I just ran it through uh, the little weather seal in the door and then went through the body of the van and then to this little junction box right here I was fortunate enough to have. Um, but usually I would uh, go to our alternator down here and connect it to the back of the alternator um, and have a fuse between the alternator and our battery, but it was just such a pain to get to. Like the, the post that you have to connect your battery to is way back here, and it's just not easy in our van. But I was fortunate enough that it had this little auxiliary post that already has a fuse on it for me in case anything was wrong. And on the ground side, coming from our battery, um, a negative, I ran this wire right here and I made and connected it to the seat right here. I made sure the seat was grounded. Um, and then these wires right here come from the battery powering the, this little TV and like the stereo we have down here. And uh, goes to these switches right here, which power um, LED lights we I put on the front. That also came off the bus. These little switches here power the TV. And uh, anyway, so I have a 12 volt plug right here, which will charge like phones and stuff. I would do it from our car, but instead of killing the car's battery, I use our battery right here. And then, uh, like I said, uh, so like I said, this little circuit right here connects the battery to the van. And then this circuit right here connects the battery to the inverter, which will power this little power strip. So you just turn the inverter on. And I, I plug like a coffee pot into it, you know, your phone, whatever. I, I inflate tires with it. Um, you can actually keep this whole system charged uh, with a solar panel and stuff. I don't have one here, but um, yeah, just be careful working with electricity. It can be really dangerous. Um, positive to positive, negative to negative. Um, yeah, 